And then my, my last question is, let's say someone knows these things and they specifically ask the rabbi questions about the actions of the person who's a convert, um, assuming that the light would be um, such that if the, if the rabbi said, you know, you're not supposed to do that, that it would also apply to the convert. What does what a person like that, what, what does the Torah say about doing something like that? I didn't, I didn't get your question, so uh, please, uh, could, could you maybe let's say, rephrase let's it? Say I'm in, let's say I'm at a shul, and I'm in a group of people, and I was Jewish, and there's another guy there who's not Jewish, and he's a convert, and so I specifically think that something he does is against the Torah, so I go and I ask a question, I say, you know, Rabbi, I'm wondering, is, uh, you know, is it okay if you do this, that, whatnot, mm -hmm. and I'm asking, I'm kind of being, you know, beating around the bush, I'm not yes, saying yes. it because, mm -hmm. you know? But I, I, I did allow the rabbi to a answer that question, and it's basically, you know, I'm asking it because it's based off of actions that he's taken, mm -hmm. even though it won't affect him. Um, is that what? Is that proper to do something like yes, that? Yes, that's absolute. That's a hundred percent proper. That's a hundred percent proper. That's what we actually spoke in the beginning of the class. So uh, what? In, in a safer half its time so sometimes let the, the, this person being rebuked or uh, other people being rebuked by somebody else so when, when you ask the, this question of a rabbi so uh, nobody maybe they think maybe you, you you ask for for yourself maybe you ask for for somebody else whatever so but but this rabbi who is the authority let's say he's a his opinion is authority in, in this place in the shul so he's going to answer so that person who is supposed to hear the answer he's not going to he, uh, hear from you because uh, he he does not hold uh, very high of you but uh, he would l listen to rabbi so you 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 did your job you rebuke that person right uh, through somebody else so it's absolutely proper absolutely proper especially as you said you said uh, bit, bit around the, the bush you, you like a general question if if rabbi is smart he's going to direct to, to the right route and he's like expand uh, uh, on, on the answer 100 percent. that's a proper thing to do so you're not attacking anybody yeah. he's no, not no, going to listen no. to you but you can I, yeah can i add to that so let's say for example it's the type of question where i could be asking a question for example of should we be eating healthy knowing that the food and the reason that the guy doesn't eat certain things let's say he doesn't eat certain things because uh they're unhealthy so while he's in conversion and i i, I could you know in that scenario he's in conversion it won't affect him so he's eating something that's organic but let's say non-kosher or, or 100 percent grass bed but non-kosher mm -hmm. and then i pipe up and rather than asking a question about the cash risk laws mm -hmm. you know and why it is that they approve uh pesticide use uh grain being fed to animals that causes you know lectins and things that you know cause your gut to leak and an a1 protein and milk that hits your pancreas and you can get diabetes and all these different things rather than asking why the cash risk uh, is is approving these things? I asked a question mm -hmm. that would be uh, more of a ruling question yes. on the subject in general, but without care for how you arrive there. Mm -hmm. What's the position on that? So, so for, first of all, I wanna I wanna to, to cl clarify one more thing. So, if somebody in, in the process of conversion, we said it is uh, like temporary leniency that that we can give a person because he's uh, he did not convert yet. But, but technically, by, by, by the day of this conversion, person has to like uh, kosher his house and eat 100% kosher and absorb all of the laws to 99.999%. You understand? So if he's like still in the middle, you know, not decided, he's, uh, he, he thinks that it's going to take him another seven years to convert, yeah, maybe he's never going to convert. You understand? But, uh, but serious person, he's shy or she must try to do everything possible to live like up to this 99 percent so as rabbi ruben Schlitter, he always say so when you're ready to convert you you have to be the most religious jew that you ever know that like all the religious jew they, they, they're religious very good but you must be even more religious than them but by the time you you're ready to convert so even though it is allowed in his spot right now because he's not Jewish, right? There is no halacha to forbid them. But the person like must be mentally prepared, like to drop this food because they're not healthy. When as soon as possible. 
You understand? So okay. right, that, that's yeah, I, uh, that, that's I, the I, question. I, yeah. I, I kind of was more leaning towards the question of should it be appropriate for someone to ask one question that is not as important as another? For example, if one thing is about you know why poisons are put in food and why why the cashier's agencies approve or make you know stuff, they're saying it's kosher. But they know that there's glyphosate or like pesticide. No, or they, it, it has nothing to do with, with, with not kosher. So what what not kosher if they had a pig, a pig fat in that. But all of the pesticides, as you said, it is kosher. So, but we have to remember, even something is kosher, it does not mean it's a recommended to eat. So something can be unhealthy and still labeled as kosher. Yes, 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 kosher, kosher. And uh, and the healthy not always the same thing, not always the same. So uh, are you are you allowed to, to eat kosher food? Yes. Are you obligated to it? Absolutely not. Should we be careful? Absolutely, absolutely. So well, whatever they say is, is it uh, all all these ingredients are kosher? Ingredients are kosher. Is this food recommended? Absolutely not. You understand? And plus, uh, we said, since it's not going to kill, it's not real poison, not uh, go, going to kill uh, the person right now, it's going to kill him uh, like uh, like uh, gradually or over time, maybe yes, maybe no. So that's uh, that, that's why there is time it's kosher. But uh, I mean, for example, we, we're trying to buy like a non, non GMO, maybe not, not generic, but at least not, not GMO. Like, uh, I mean, there are many, many foods like this. Do they cost more money? Not not always like maybe a little more but it's worth it don't like me because we have to take of our health so even though it's an unintentional sin to, to eat unhealthy uh, a rabbi who gives the kosher approval is okay to do yes, that knowing yes. that there yes. could be pest um it is, it is okay because it is not guaranteed maybe yes maybe not not everybody is going to get all of these uh, side effects not sure somebody maybe yes maybe not and then not, not right now so because of the, all of the doubts and the ingredients are kosher so they say the ingredients are kosher there is no non-kosher ingredients they did not say is it good for you it's not good for you that's uh, for you to find out you understand even like even if it's meat meat like a glad kosher and it's uh healthy and organic this and that uh, okay whatever whatever is it all of the good quality about meat if you eat meat three times a day big chunks so uh, it's going to kill you you you're going to have uh this all of this uh, heart disease it's not healthy you understand so be, being uh, kosher and healthy not uh, not uh, is it even kosher and healthy and recommended three, three different things Very interesting. Yes. What if what if it was guaranteed that it was going to poison someone? Yeah, that, then it was not, not going to be a lie. If if you say there is a snake poison or some poison, rat poison in there, of course, it, yes, it's uh, it's uh, it's not allowed. But otherwise, it's uh, it's doubt, doubts. When it's going to happen? Is it going to happen? 